Hi, I'm Ned, and I make games. Today I want to show how to create a rim light effect in Unity's Universal Render Pipeline Shader Graph. Rim lighting illuminates the edges of a mesh, and it's a good tool to add atmosphere or help objects stand out from the background. It's not difficult to implement and can be added to any other graph pretty easily. Before we get started, I want to thank you all for watching. If you're new, I upload weekly game development tutorials, so please consider subscribing and turning on bell notifications. I've also recently launched a Patreon page, where you can get a bunch of extra goodies, but I'll talk more about that later. Let's get to the fun stuff. I made this project using Unity 2020.2.1 F1 and Universal Render Pipeline 10.2.2. The graph will also work in Unity 2020.1, however, your workflow will be a little different. If you're using a newer version, check the video description for any fixes you may need. As mentioned before, rim lighting affects the edges of a model, or in other words, wherever the model's normal vector is perpendicular to the view direction. With just that term, things do look a little artificial. It'd be better if the rim light only appeared on the shadowed edge of the model or where the normal vector is pointing opposite of the main light. By combining these two terms, things will start to take shape. All right, set your project up for the Universal Render Pipeline by using the URP project template in Unity Hub, or downloading the URP package, creating a settings asset, and assigning it as the active render pipeline in your project settings. When that's done, set up a little test scene. Next, create a Universal Render Pipeline Lit Shader Graph, then open it. Let's take care of the Edge Illumination term first. Create a View Direction node and a Normal Vector node, both set to World Space. To calculate if these two vectors are parallel, use a Dot Product node. Saturate it to throw away any negative values, and then create a 1- minus node. Now this expression will give us 1 when the vectors are perpendicular. For the shadow term, we need the main light direction. There isn't a built-in node for that, but we can use a custom function node to get it. Create a custom function node, then select it. Switch the graph inspector to node settings and add one vector three output named main light direction. Below, set the type to string and the name to get main light direction. Then in the body field, Type in this get main light function provided by the URP, then grab the direction field from that. The shader graph will give you an error. It's because get main light doesn't exist when the shader graph is creating the node previews. We need to return something else in that case. We can use a hash if defined directive to tell the compiler to return a predefined vector while in the shader graph preview mode. Type all that in and the node should turn yellow. That's what we want. Now, to find the shadowed areas, negate the light direction and then take its dot product with the normal vector. Saturate that result, again, to throw out negative values. Now the expression is 1 when the normal vector points opposite of the light direction. To combine the two terms, we need to multiply them together. But first, let's set up a way to tweak their contributions to the final effect. Add three float properties, an edge power, shadow power, and a strength. For the edge term, add a power node and take it to the power of the new edge power property. Do the same thing for the shadowed term. Then multiply both results together and multiply that with the strength property. To give the rim light some color, add a color property and multiply that with the chain. Finally, route the result into the emission field of the master stack. Return to the scene editor and create a material for your shader. Add it to your scene and test things out. Play around with the various properties to see everything that's possible. The effect is pretty versatile. Now to make things available for any graph, go back to your rim light graph, select all the nodes but the master stack, Right-click and convert to subgraph. Double-click to edit the subgraph and clean things up a bit. To make the subgraph usable with normal maps, you'll want to create a normal vector 3 property 
and then use that instead of the normal vector node. This way, graphs can feed in the modified normal vector. As an example, this graph is a simple lit graph hooked up with the rim light subgraph. It's complete with a color texture and a normal map. Remember that your rim light should go into the emission master stack node. And with that, we're done. Rim lining is a cool effect, perfect for moody scenes. It not only adds atmosphere, but helps your meshes stand out from a dark background. It's a good effect to add to your toolbox. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe and enable notifications. I publish weekly game development tutorials, and that way you won't miss them. I have a tutorial on tune shaders, outline renderers, procedural grass made with compute shaders, and more. I'd also really appreciate it if you could like this video. Let's YouTube know to recommend it to others, and it really helps out the channel. Of course, don't hesitate to leave a comment if you have any questions, or otherwise. I do read them all. I want to take a minute to talk about my new Patreon campaign as well. First off, don't feel pressured to contribute. You watching the videos is more than enough. But if you can, I have prepared some special perks, like early access to videos, polls about future video topics, and downloadable project files. I hope that this Patreon campaign will enable me to grow the channel even further, maybe to showcase other game engines, or maybe upgrade my microphone. Anyway, thank you all for your support thus far. Thank you, and make games.